and to our president, you are breaking our hearts, you are disappointing us, you are depressing us. Because every time we wake up and remember that you are the president, we are traumatized. You need to remember that you are leading people, not graves. Care about us. Care about the children of Kenya. Mr. President, I want to assure you that the silence that you feel today is not peace. It is the silence before a storm. We just have a president that lies. He cannot escape any opportunity to lie to Kenyans. He just can't help it. Hmm. The president's word should mean something to the people of Kenya. The president's word should mean something. It should be valuable. When the president tells you, I will do, it should be law. But now we have a president who just promises and promises and promises, but he has no intention of doing it. Hmm. Just playing politics throughout and the politics of dishonesty. This is a one-term president. We can't have this. If he doesn't resign before 2027, yeah, then he's a one-term president because he's not going to win that election in 2027. He doesn't have anything against me. What will he be saying in his rallies? But I'll be having a lot to say, including his 900-acre ranch in Kilgoris, mm. where his own neighbor doesn't have last mile connectivity. I was there personally at his ranch in Kilgoris, where he even has a private airstrip where he lands. Yet his neighbor doesn't have light last mile connectivity. He has diverted a contractor that she's supposed to build the Kilgoris Lolgorian Road to his private home to build his road. This president is out of his mind. Hmm. The quality of our leaders is going to come from the quality of the electorate. The better informed the electorate is, the better the quality of leaders we will have. And take this duty of public audit and accountability to be your personal duty. Spare a minute or two minutes in a day to make sure that the road that is being done near you, that the water project that is being done near you, they are not looting public funds, it has not stalled, and it is not being done to substandard levels. We want our country to grow and have opportunities. His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto launched that road on the 26th of, uh, of November 2018. He came back there on the 6th of April 2023 and launched it again. The same thing. 4.4 billion Kenya shillings he allocated to it. Why launch the road twice and never work on it? This government doesn't do anything unless they are looting public funds. If they do anything, it is because there is money to steal. If they don't want to do anything, it is because that thing haina pesa. And it is time we take our country back. Why should we have a cabinet secretary without portfolio? What the hell is that? Mm. That's like saying car without engine <laughs> or human being without brain. <laughs> well, right, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Isn't it? Absolutely. Or mother without child. Hmm. It's, it's, it's unbelievable that we can have a cabinet secretary without ministry. And yet, it's bila kazi. Bila kazi. That's a joke. Let them controvert everything that I'm showing Kenyans about the projects they've been launching because those tombstones have the name His Excellency Dr. William Ruto on them. You know, uh, I'm so sad that they have an honest man lying for them. You think he's lying? He is. God has given you a chance to lead this nation. You're already a billionaire, no secret. There is nothing more that money can do for you. Money has already made you president. There is nothing above this. Please, if you really care about corruption, begin with yourself. Call yourself into a meeting and ask yourself, would you like to continue being a president that leads in corruption or that leads in development? Would you like to continue being a president that leads in corruption or that leads in development? And as a president, your word should mean something. Don't lie at every opportunity.